office work, such as answering phone calls and organizing paperwork. We also attended a Halloween carnival, which was a good and fun experience for us. But this organization hinders us from interacting with the kids and with the families. It was most of over in the hospital across the street, which gives us no experience and nothing to talk about here today. Our expectations to help the kids with health problems were not met, so Vanessa and I decided to transfer to during the last week of winter break, we were so determined to search for a new atmosphere. That is when we encountered Homeward Bound Golden Retriever Rescue and Sanctuary. Homeward Bound Golden Retriever Rescue and Sanctuary was founded in January of 2000 when Mike and Jody Jones, the founders of Homeward Bound, made a promise to their Golden Retriever Chelsea, who had gotten hit by a car and suffered life threatening injury, that if Chelsea pulled through and lived, they would dedicate the rest of their lives to help save the prime golden retriever lives. Next thing you know, Chelsea pulled through and made it, but eventually passed away. This was the first step onto a long journey for Mike and Jody Jones, which would include saving thousands of golden retrievers in time. The dogs at Homeward Bound come from all over the world. They come from South, Southern California, Northern California, Hawaii, Arizona, Oregon, Taiwan. And the Homeward Bound, they have their own vet for the dogs that do get injured. The vet has done spray, nutrient, vaccinations, hip replacement, knee surgery, eye surgery. The total expenses for the vet from February of 2002 through 2011 is a total of $2,077,000. And this money comes from donations. A fantastic way Homeward Bound gets their money is by hosting an event called Kibbles and Bits. Kibbles and Bits is a premier fundraising event in which they auction off um, wines, dining gift certificates, dog related items, and much more. In the past event, they have raised $113,000. Another way Homeward Bound gets a lot of their donations is by people simply donating $25 at a time. The money goes towards grant and utilities. The other things such as dog beds, toys, food, all the little things are usually donated. Homeward Bound has rescued a total of 5,792 dogs and from 2010, and they hope to rescue more golden retrievers in each. Safety. Now, each dog kennel has a clipboard which has a color-coded paper with the group description of each dog, and it has a color-coded sticker. Now, for the papers, they're in white, purple, and blue. For the white paper, the white signifies that the dog is normal, nothing is wrong with him or her. Purple paper signifies that something has happened in the dog's past, and so they're staying in home or bound for the rest of his life, or because of his old age. For example, there's a dog, Leo. He had an incident with a chihuahua, and sadly, things got really bad, and he ended up killing the chihuahua. So he's staying at home or bound for the remainder of his life. The blue paper signifies that the dog is sick and is currently on medication. Now, the color for the stickers were green, yellow, red, and blue. And these are to let the volunteers know if they can walk the dog or not. The green sticker signifies that any volunteer is welcome to walk the dog. The yellow sticker signifies that only um, experienced volunteers to walk the dog because the dog may get a bit aggressive or it's tough on the leash. And the red sticker signifies for volunteers to not walk the dog. Blue stickers signify don't walk the dogs because they have to see the bit before leaving a town. Our typical day homework now is taking care of the kids. We volunteered every Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We spent our, on Sundays, we spent our time there for 45 hours. Right after school, so we could volunteer to feed the dogs, which takes about an hour or two. As soon as we enter the homework back office, we check in so we will let our mentor know how long we volunteered. Then we check if there are any laundry or dishes to do. After we do all of our chores, we walk the dog. We can either just go to the yard or the trail, and we can play fetch or just run around with them. But there are a few signs to stay away from. Such as smiling. But the most important safety rule while walking a dog is to avoid other dogs because most of them don't get along with each other. During feeding time, this group of people that run the dogs while others like Vanessa and myself feed them and close their kennels when needed. People say the hardest job in Homeward Bound is feeding 
walk for chores and walk the dogs. We go to the yard. Smooth park. One of my favorite moments in Homeward Bound was 